Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at what's inside this package. My solar system, as of today, consists of a single unit that produces one phase, roughly 4000 watts. In this package I have a new unit that can produce up to between 10 and 14,000 watts on three phases. It can be tied to batteries and it can also be tied directly to the net to actually sell some of the electric. So let's take a look. The unit I'm looking at is the MPI 10K Hybrid. Here we have the manual. We have a couple of cables, zero bus and everything like that. Uh, a couple of bolts and also a couple of MC4 contacts for the solar panels connect. A user manual included with a solar power software. The difference between this and uh, MPI or MPP 4 kVA uh, unit that I have today is that this uses solar power and the other one is another type of software. This one is actually a lot better. You have the three phase connectors, the input and the output. You have the mounting bracket that goes on top of the wall. It's green and it's really really huge. It was a lot bigger than I thought. Let's lift this up on the table. So here's the unit itself. The unit is at least three times bigger than the old one. At least. It's, it's huge. Um, it's got a lot more connectors as well. It actually got a switch for the PV. That one is okay to use. You don't need anything else than that one. Though I'm going to use external ones anyway because I want to be able to disconnect and connect external ones myself. The unit is quite hefty, it's green, it's visible and I like that. So let's take a quick look around it. The unit itself has handles on the side. That's needed to actually carry it. It actually got these knobs here that you can hang it up on the wall as well. As at least you can lift it quite easily. Three really really huge fans. I'm not sure about the quality of those. Uh, I'm not sure if they are sucking or blowing out so I need to figure that out as well due to all the dust. It says it's an MPI 10K. All details can also be found on the web page. 275 amps from the battery as its maximum. That, as you can see it will show the solar and wherever it goes. It will show the PV input, the AC input the battery capacity and everything so so let's take a look at all the connectors the connectors as follows here you have the AC breakers here that should could be good enough for breaking it but I will have external ones as well uh, AC grid that's the in and out going that's the AC output that means the load to the house that one you can use to actually power things when you don't have any grid voltage Thermal sensor you can connect up, EPO I don't know what that is, solar input, two MPPT controllers or chargers, you can connect two strings in each, that's really convenient that I actually have that directly. Uh, the battery here should consist of very very thick cables as you can see due to the hole, it should be able to handle almost 300 amps. Uh, intelligent slot, that's where I'm going to connect my Modbus card. So I'm going to remove that and install that. Uh, parallel connection to actually connect up several units. RS232 and the USB is to actually connect it to the computer. Dry connect, that's actually a utility connector where you actually can connect like uh, stuff to be able to start the generator and stuff like that. And then, of course, you have the PV switch. Uh, it's CE marked as well, so it's actually legal in Sweden, this one. And you don't need any extra connect connectors due to those two. Overall, 
it will be really really funny to see this go and to be installed. So that's everything for now. Hope you liked the video and I hope that you will continue to watch the other videos as well. Thank you and please subscribe, like and comment if you have anything you wonder about and I will answer as good as I can. Bye.